Chicken Bear, are you taking a bath over there? Are you taking a little bath? Oh my goodness. So hello everyone and welcome back to another specimen spotlight and today I thought we would go ahead and show off chickenberry because chickenberry is getting quite a bit older now it's a few months old and we're starting to see some of the adult colors come in on its very first juvenile molt. A molt is when the birds will actually lose their feathers and they will grow new feathers and they usually molt about once a year but juvenile fledglings will also molt right after they leave the nest and they start to turn into real birds as I call it. So let's go up and we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer to chickenberry and see how chickenberry's colors are coming in. Chickenberry look at you! So you guys know that my Gouldian finches come in lots of different colors and that is determined by what genetics they have. And Ossii who's chickenberry's dad is actually standing right next to chickenberry fluffing his wings like that. Yeah, and then there is persimmon on the left right there. So there is chickenberry's mother persimmon on the left, and chickenberry is in the middle. And actually, all of the birds that you currently see on the edges, strawberry in the background, Ossii Jr. on the right, and then we've got pumpkin on the left over here, oh, and then there's silverberry. So all of the birds, except for silverberry in the middle now, are related. Ossii and persimmon laid a bunch of eggs, and they hatched all of these little ones that you see with the red heads. Silverberry is the only one not related to them, and chickenberry, we're kind of waiting to see if chickenberry is going to be a boy or a girl, and if chickenberry is going to have a lilac chest or a different colored chest, there's lots of different varieties that the Gouldian finches can come in, and we're also waiting to see uh, what colors may come in on the head. And so you can look really closely, and you can see for sure chickenberry is going to be a green back, so not like a silver bird the way that silverberry is, and not like our blues like blueberry was or a yellow like starburst was but a green back is what they're called so you can see the green feathers down <laughs> chickenberry you're so cute chickenberry i love you but you can see that chickenberry has the same green feathers on the back that all of the other birds do and chickenberry is starting to get the black around its head and yes he looks pretty pathetic right now and we don't know yet if chickenberry is going to be a boy or a girl the easiest way to tell that is going to be how vibrant the colors are going to be when the chest feathers start coming in the females in the back there tend to have lighter lilac chest and the males tend to have brighter purple chest and then also the color of the lipstick on the lips. As you can see Persimmon, who's sitting next to Silverberry right now, kind of in the middle with the blue band on her leg, she has black lips or a black beak tip. And if you look over to the right, you can see how Ossii and Ossii Jr., the two redheads on the right, they have red lips, or red lipstick, as we call it. So that's what you see on the males. But you can also see Pumpkin over here, who is a girl. She was kind of peeking her head over. Pumpkin and Strawberry are also females, but they also have a little bit of red tinge onto their lips. So it's not a 100% way of telling if you have a boy or a girl Gouldian. So I'm not sure. It kind of looks like at this point that Chickenberry is a little girl, because I think the lilac chest is coming in pretty light. And I'm not sure what the head color will be, Chickenberry, you're so adorable, what the head color is going to be on Chickenberry in the end, because you can't really see if there's going to be, is, is it going to be black headed? Is it going to be orange headed? Is it, is it going to be red headed? You can't really tell right now. So we just have to wait for those colors to come in. But I'm definitely seeing, at least at this point, a light lilac chest. So I'm thinking it's going to basically look more or less just like persimmon once chickenberry is done molting. And it may be a black-headed uh, black Gouldian because Ossii and persimmon have the genetics for pretty much everything. They've had blue babies. They've had red-headed babies. They've had orange-headed babies. They've had black-headed babies. They've had quite a few interesting little ones. That's why I hope I can get just at least one more clutch out of them next time they're ready to breed. Oh, look at you, Ossii! But none of my birds are in breeding condition right now because as you can see, a lot of them, especially Ossii Jr. and Chickenberry, look really pathetic. And the reason they look so pathetic right now is because they are growing new feathers. They're going through their yearly molt where they will lose all of their feathers and look absolutely scraggly and like they are on the verge of death before they will regrow their feathers and be these stunning, beautiful Gouldian finches that we know and love. 
So that's how Chicken Berry's doing as a little Chicken Berry update. And I actually have some fun little up close video from when I gave them some brand new snacks and treats for them to try out the other day. I'm still working on getting a webcam or a video that can record the birds up close without alarming them. They're getting clearly, as you can see, a lot better about feeling comfortable with the camera up against the side of their cage. But then it'd be really fun if I could get a webcam or something I can activate. So whenever they're doing something cute, like taking a bath, we could see it without startling them. But I really wanted to give you guys a chicken berry update. So there's our little chicken berry and that's how chicken berry is doing. Looking really, really pathetic with feathers sticking up all over the place because it is a goofy baby. Don't worry, its feathers will go back where they're supposed to once it molts and grows some new ones. And we're still waiting and seeing how our little, our little scruffy scrump, our little scrap, so what am I trying to say? Scramp? There, I think that's what I'm trying to say. We'll see how chicken berry turns out and what colors it'll end up being in a little bit. But for now, everybody's going through molt. So eat all of your calcium. Eat all of the eggshells I got you guys. Eggshells are very good for birds when they're trying to regrow their feathers. And we'll, oh, don't be fussy pumpkin. And we'll have to see how the whole clutch turns out. And we'll have to see if I have any luck tracing down a few new Gouldians that we could potentially add in to our flock. So keep your eyes peeled on that. And don't forget you can check over on the vlog channel to see all sorts of new up close and personal footage of our birds in a bird seed diary videos. Especially since I got them some new snacks. So there should be a bird seed diaries about that in a few days. And I hope you guys enjoy and we'll keep an eye on chicken berry. And hopefully when we get some more bright colors or some more cute action, I can show you some more chicken berry action next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.